Today, we're gonna find out what $1 can actually buy you in the world's most expensive city, New York. If you can't find something for a dollar at a local bodega in New York City, I don't know where you're gonna find it. So we're gonna go inside and see how far a buck goes in a bodega. That's to you, I have to take, uh, I have water, dollar too. Anything else for a dollar here? Me. You? You know, this is a go-to in New York for a buck. And a one dollar scratch off? Yeah, anyone, you picture. Guys, what if I win $5,555 and I just quit while I'm ahead? Wow, two five thousands. Either 5,555 or nothing. What do you know? Nothing. Harper's Bread House, one of my favorite bakeries in all of Chinatown. Hoping they have something for a buck, maybe? I think the cheapest they see is $1.25. Even the little juice packs, $1.25. I think we're two years late. I was excited. I thought maybe we'd get something for a buck in there, but everything has been raised and it's still super cheap as is. So do support them, but doesn't fit our dollar budget. Do you have anything for a dollar? It's one dollar. This is one dollar? What is it? Oh, uh, Chinese luck. Chinese luck? Yeah. Okay, I'll take it. We're doing a video about what you can buy for one dollar in New York City. Oh, we just stumbled upon this. We need luck today. This is perfect. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, I know for a fact they have something for one dollar at Spongy's. You want to see this. How are you? Hey, how are you doing today? Good, good. How much is one sponge cake? One sponge cake, a dollar. Dollar. We got something. All right, I'll take it. Maybe one of the best values in New York right here. As far as I'm concerned, Fernando, who's from Mexico, makes the best Hong Kong style sponge cakes in all of Chinatown. And the regular is just a buck. If I had more budget, I would buy coffee too. Mm. Moist, spongy, hence the name. A lot of different flavors here, but you really can't go wrong with the original. I don't know if we're gonna top this for value in today's video. It might be tough. Cool thing about Spongies is you see a lot of the Chinese clientele speaking in Spanish to Fernando, just the melting pot that is New York right inside there. You don't happen to have any books for a dollar, do you? Yeah. I'm kind of curious what these people selling the winter stuff. Hi. Uh, anything for one dollar? Hay algo por un dollar? Nada. ¿Cuál es el más barato? ¿Cuánto? Cinco? Okay. Gracias. Whole Foods, also known in New York as Whole Paycheck, used to have something that was really cheap. I don't know if it exists anymore, but we're gonna find out. Bagels are $1.25. Almost, almost. I believe this is gonna cost less than a dollar. Tell them that to 72 cents. 72 cents, alright. I think that's the best deal you guys have, no joke. Yeah, I'm impressed because you think one dollar and you think you're not gonna have anything healthy. We got four bananas for 72 cents. We might have even been able to get a fifth banana at this price. This is one of the best healthy deals in New York City. What does a banana cost where you live? Is there anything more synonymous with one dollar than a dollar pizza in the city? I don't know. Two, please. All right, the working man slice. Dollar pizza. Is it the highest quality of ingredients? No. Is it super cheap? Heck yeah. I don't know how long this is still gonna be around. I predict in five years this will not be a thing anymore. You know, 99 cent fresh pizza is a chain around the city. I've never been disappointed at any of their spots for a dollar. I saw people going in ordering two, three, four at a time. It's not a nutritious lunch, but it is a lunch. It is also the perfect grab and go food, just created that way. E. Rossi and Company is the oldest gift shop left in Little Italy. We've covered them in the past. I have a gut feel that we can get something for a buck. What do you sell for a buck, Ernie? I'm curious. One dollar, one dollar. We got it, we have that. Oh! <laughs> so we got rosary beads for a dollar. One dollar. And less religious? Bracelet. 
All right, we have a New York souvenir for a dollar. One dollar. Stay in front of me. Stay in front of me. Molto grazie. Well, that's New York for you. Go into a shop like that, you get an impromptu opera session. Visit E. Rossi and Company. Great, cheap gifts. If you're curious, the last time the subway cost one dollar was December 31st, 1989. Surely Starbucks has got to have something for a dollar. Random question, do you guys sell anything for a dollar? Anything for a dollar. Like one dollar, yeah. I honestly don't think so. Okay. How about like an ice water? Is that free? That's free. Okay, can I get one of those? Yep. All right, we will settle for free, a free water, which by the way, on the Las Vegas Strip, they don't charge you for the water, they charge you for the cup. But in New York, water's still free at Starbucks. It's actually not, I think I've had worse water before. You know, when I used to go to McDonald's way back when they had this whole dollar menu, uh, I haven't gone in so long, but I've been told by a reliable source to use the app and they have 99 cent premium roast or iced coffee. So I'm going to uh, hit use it at restaurant and see what happens. This is actually better than I expected. Large caramel iced coffee for a dollar off the app. Also, you can get a small soft drink if you don't have the app, but okay, this is kind of useful to know. Once a day you can get it, even in New York City. I figured if they black it out somewhere, it would be here. All right, this video is definitely not sponsored by McDonald's. The Strand may be the most famous used bookstore in New York City, if not the world, and for years and years, <laughs> they had $1 books outside. Is it over? That's the question. Because I see $3 to $7, but I don't know if I'm ready to give up so easy. I had lost all hope. All I saw was three to seven bucks, but you keep looking around. There is hope in New York City, $1 before the fall. John Grisham, okay. New York Times bestseller, one buck. Some could argue this is best dollar you could spend right now. I mean, that's a lot of entertainment in one book. If it's nonfiction, probably a lot of knowledge too. Just because it says $3, they still have those dollar books hidden in here. If you wanna have a little fun hunting for them. Steamy French romance novel. All my tourists watching, this is a must visit for you. Go inside too. Now that you know what $1 can get you in New York, you might wanna see how many dollar pizza slices you can actually eat. In this video, we look for the city's best. Watch this next.